To access the camera and camcorder on your iPhone, tap on the camera icon in the top right corner. The camera will launch and autofocus on your subject. You have a few options to customize your camera settings. In the top left corner are your flash options. You can set the flash to auto, on, or off. Top center is the HDR on off option. When HDR is set on, the flash will be disabled. Here's an example of an HDR picture. Notice the sharp contrast between the light and dark areas of the photo. If you're taking a picture and need to zoom, tap on the subject you wish to focus. The camera will autofocus and you can control the zoom with the slider along the bottom. Top right you can toggle between the front or back facing camera. Bottom left will display a thumbnail of the most recent picture taken or black as shown here if you do not have any pictures stored on the phone. Tap this thumbnail to launch your gallery. Press the camera icon in the bottom center to take a photo or toggle the slider in the bottom right to switch between still camera and video camera. Here I'll take a picture of this hummingbird. You can now see that I have taken a picture and its thumbnail is displayed on the gallery icon. The first time you take an HDR photo, you will get this pop-up box letting you know that the original and the HDR versions of each photo you take will be saved. Under the settings menu, you can change it to only save the HDR image. As shown here, you can use the multi-touch feature on the phone to zoom in and out. One tap on the screen will bring back any options that were available. Across the top, you can return to the thumbnails of the gallery by pressing the camera roll button, check to see what picture is shown in sequence, or press done to return back to the camera. Along the bottom you have the options to share, switch between photos and sequence, play a slideshow of all photos and videos, and delete. When you hit the share option, you can send it as an email, multimedia message, assign it to a contact, or use the image as wallpaper. If you decide you want to delete a photo, tap on the trash can icon. This will bring up the confirmation screen. Tap on delete photo and the image will be removed. Switching to the video camera, you lose the options for HDR, but all other options remain the same. Tapping the red circle where the camera icon used to be will start recording and while the device records, the red circle will flash. Opening your gallery, tapping on the play symbol on the video will immediately start playback. You can also send videos the same way as images. Here I'll show you how to send both. The first step is to select the share option that I showed you earlier. I'll be sending the image through a multimedia message. The new MMS screen pops up with the image already attached. Selecting a contact and entering a message here is just like sending a text message.
To send a video, select the video you want to send and tap the share icon. This video I'm going to send through an email. The device will automatically compress the video and attach it to an email. Type in the contact you want to send it to and enter any other information such as a subject and body text and then hit send. On the device, you're able to take screenshots. To do this, press the home button and power button simultaneously. The screen will flash white. The image will be saved in your gallery under camera roll. You can share screenshots just like any other photo. With the device you are able to import your music library and use it like an mp3 player. There are two ways to access iTunes. Out of the box in the utilities folder there is a direct link to iTunes. Or if you don't have any music stored on your phone, click on the iPod application as shown here and you can launch iTunes directly from it. Across the bottom you can switch between music, videos, ping, search, and more. Across the top of the screen are three options. New releases, top tens, and genres. Selecting each will narrow the results displayed. These will change depending on the category you have selected. Selecting video changes the sort options to movies, TV shows, and music videos. Once you find the video you are looking for, Click on the result and it's easy to preview, rent, or buy. You can scroll through these lists to show more results. By clicking any of them, you will narrow your results even more. Selecting the option for Ping will launch the Ping social network. If you are a member of Ping, it will allow you to keep up with the music your favorite artists and friends enjoy. Clicking on search, you are able to find specific songs, videos, or podcasts. Tap search after you've entered the keywords. The results will be broken up into several categories, including top results, songs, movies, ringtones, and more. Tapping on any result will open it. Prices are reflected on the right. Tap on the price to download. Notice how the download jumps to the More category. If the file is over 20 megabytes, a Wi-Fi connection is required to download. Under the More category, you have several categories for files on the device, such as ringtones, podcasts, and audiobooks. When a file is downloading, there will also be a download option, as shown here. In here you can track the status of your download. Pandora does not come on the device out of the box, however a quick free download in the App Store will give you access to this application. Tapping on the icon will launch Pandora.
The first time you open the program, this screen will be displayed, allowing you to sign in to a Pandora account or create a new one. Once you have signed in, the player will automatically start the station you were listening to most recently. To create a new station or switch between your stations, click on the back arrow in the top left corner. Here all of your stations will be listed and you can sort them by date added or alphabetically. Along the bottom are four options, stations, new station, bookmarks, and settings. To add a new station, click on the new station option and type in the name of the artist, song, or composer you wish to create a station around. Here I'm creating a Mozart station. Pandora will automatically switch to your new station. To pause the music, simply press the play pause button located along the bottom. To skip to the next song, press the next button. You also have the option to approve or disapprove a song with a thumbs up and thumbs down. Clicking thumbs up will register that you like the song and Pandora will try its best to play similar songs. If you hear a song you like, you also have the options to bookmark the song or artist, buy it from iTunes, or share the station via email. If you dislike a song, you have the ability to give it a thumbs down, and Pandora will automatically play another song. Songs that you thumbs down will also not be played again on this station. Pressing this icon in the top right corner will display information about the artist and song. Tapping the icon in the top right corner again will return you to the album art if available. You can find songs you bookmarked by accessing the stations page and selecting bookmarks from the bottom. From here, you can also access the settings menu where you have options including higher audio quality, auto screen lock, upgrade to Pandora 1, and you can switch the user signed in or simply sign out. 